I would like to present to you a quick overview of the Hoopla Digital website. We begin by going to hoopladigital.com and logging in. This is going to be our Hoopla home screen. Notice right up at the top here there is a search box. We can type in here whatever we happen to be looking for. Artist, actor, genre, language. For example, if I type in French and hit enter, it will take me to all of the relevant results that match that search term. I can also separate these by specific format if I wanted to. Any time that we would like to return to the Hoopla home screen, we are simply going to come to the upper left hand corner and click on the Hoopla logo. If we look to the right of the search box, we see our email address is going to be listed. If I click on my email address, this is going to take me to my account information page, otherwise known as your settings. To the right of that, there is a sign out option. A little lower on the screen, I have my titles. This is where all of my borrowed titles are. It also lists how many borrows I have remaining for the month. To the right, notice I have a see all option. When I click on this, it will take me to not only all of the items I have borrowed, but any items that I have set as my favorites as well. Below my titles, I have all of the different formats, movies, music, audiobooks, and television. Notice that there are only a few items listed here. To see the rest of the options, you can simply click on Browse All. Browse All is available under all formats. The first thing I will notice is the scrolling web banner. Any of these links are interactive, where if I click on them, it's going to take me to that specific collection. As I scroll down, notice I have three options, recommended, which is generated from my borrowing history and any recommendation settings you have set in the account information page, featured titles, and then popular titles. If you are looking for a specific genre or collection, there is a browse option to the right here. When I click on that, I not only have genres listed, but below that, and I'll click on that so you can see all of the different genres, I simply have to collect, select one, and there are my options. I can also go to a different genre from this screen if I would like to. Now, if you are looking for a collection, you will go to the same area under Browse, and this is what would be listed, all of the different collections that are available on Hoopla. Again, you simply have to select what you are looking for, and there you will have some different content. Remember, anytime I wish to return to the Hoopla homepage, I click on that Hoopla logo, and I will be back at the homepage. I hope this brief tutorial has been of assistance. Thank you.